everybody? It's Alana, and this is... What's going on, everybody? I'm Dad. Of course, I'm Alana's dad. You know, Dad, why, why are we not in the camper like we usually are? This is not our camper. Yeah, it's a little different this time, because guess what we're going to do? Are you going to build it? We're going to build it. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to build this. I built this from the bottom up, right? So you got the sliding door on the front. Handles on the side to move it. Wheels. Little area over here so you can hold your grill tools, right? I'm gonna put a nice little grill on top. It's actually like a little kitchen cart cabinet for the camper for outside. Perfect size. Yeah, for days like this. Anyways, let's get on with this video. Please subscribe if you like and hit the bell and comment down below so I can put your name on my wall. That's right. On our YouTube wall. So our camper didn't come with an outside kitchen area, so I'm going to build one. Cart on wheels, I'm going to put a grill on one side, full table, maybe a sink. Want to learn how to build one? I'm going to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is build the legs for the cart. Right? I'm going to build these, it's only going to be three feet high. So I'm going to mark each one of these, these are two by fours, so I'm going to mark each one right at my three foot, but I'm going to add four inches for the bottom I'm going to attach the wheels to it so it can roll it around, of course. So let me mark these out, cut them. So what do we got? 30 feet, 36 inches plus the 4 inches is 40. Mark 4, 4 of my legs, 40 inches. I'm going to cut those. And we'll get started. So you got 40 inches, 40 inches. We have two, two side inches. All right, so I just cut my legs. And you got two in the front, two in the back. What I'm gonna do now, oh, I, I cut it using my miter saw, right? Hand protection, safety glasses, you guys don't forget that. That's important. So I'm gonna cut the front, right? Like I said, I want it four feet long with table. So you got two legs in the front, two in the back. There's my front board. So being that these are an inch and a half width of each one, inch and a half, inch and a half, three inches. I right? to get four foot, four feet is 48 inches. So I'm gonna cut the board 45 inches. Lose my pencil. So, like I said, I'll mark it at 45 inches, right? This way, 45 plus the three inches gave me 48, 48 inches, which is four feet. something like this so far. What I'm do now is I'm gonna actually, since we cut these an extra four inches, I'm gonna mark it here so I can attach this, right? It'll be up here. I got my boards cut. Here's the front, here's the back. Here's one of the legs. Remember I said four inches cut. I mean, four inches marked there because you're gonna attach your front a little higher because that's where the leg supports it. This is, I'm not gonna attach it like this, flush with it. I'm gonna get some depth in it. So I'm gonna go back probably half an inch and attach it right there. I'm gonna attach it by free drilling them and screwing them in. I know some people cut them and uh, rot them out and glue them, oh, no, like glue them. Use wood glue and attach them inside. I'm not gonna do it that way. Um, I'm just gonna pre drill them, attach them. I do have wood glue, so maybe I'll attach some to the sides. All right, so let me show you guys real quick. 
went ahead and marked half an inch. These are straight edge, right? Made my line. I'm gonna attach it right here, pre-drill them, put them in. I also use a counter sump bit just to give it a little so it's flush. All right, so here's the front. Got your added depth, half inch in, powder sunk, right? So I'm gonna put putty there eventually, sand it, paint it, stain it, do something to it. All right, front's done. Now I'm gonna do the back side. Got my front, here's the back side. All right, you see the, how the base is gonna be. Now I gotta make the sides. Now I'm making the top out of two by sixes. You'll see how I do the countertop in a little while. Two by six countertop. So you got three and a half, three and a half is seven, right? So I got to cut these at 17 inches to fit them into here. 17, of course, and seven is 24. Countertop, it's going to be a two, five, a four two by sixes, making it exactly 24 inches as well. I don't have a, a pocket jig, so I'm just going to angle it with my drill, pre-drill them, screw them in. So I marked the half inch here, right? Take your line all the way around, right? You hit the four inches here, four inches here, half inch here. We're gonna put it on the inside. I laid it down, it'll probably be a little easier to work with. So we just do it real quick, kind of like I did. Go one little quick one, go at an angle. That side. This one, I'm gonna do the other side. All right, here it is so far. I'm gonna tip it over and reinforce the other side. So what I did now is I flip it over, right, so I can screw in the bottom ones. Kind of see it there. I also got a wood glue, so I gotta wipe that down in a second. So I drilled them all in, right, these two and that one. Kind of see the wood glue I added. These are just screwed in from the opposite side. So I'm gonna let that wood glue dry. I'm gonna wipe it off for a second, let it dry, and then we'll start the rest of it. Look at that. At level. So, real quick, what I forgot to tell you guys, just a quick tip, right? Putting one of these braces on, if you have a hard time holding it, or you're by yourself, cut you a scrap piece. The line that you made, screw that into the board, or the leg, right? Don't nail it, just screw it so you can take the screws back out. This way that brace has something to help hold on to. All right, so now the top is on. I'm going to, like I said, put these on the bottom. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark a half, since this is a half an inch, right? Off the side, I'm gonna mark a half an inch on the bottom. 
and attach those. Now since it's already laying flat, this one is going to lay right, all the way on the bottom. I'm going to keep it on the ground and install all the bottom pieces first. This will be a little, be a little easier. Just check to make sure they're both 45 inches, right? Measure twice, cut once. Got my half inch lines. Went ahead and marked them, like I said, I just put up against, put tape measure up against it. Marked out a half an inch. Use my angle. Put it over so, then I just marked it. So I went out, I had marked all of them. Now I'm gonna install them. Got that one in. I'm gonna put the rest of them around and attach them. But I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this one. And there it is. See my line, right in the line. And I got all the bottoms attached. I almost forgot I gotta put a support brace in between. That's going to attach right in here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, since it's four feet length, I'm going to put this one right at two. Got to flip back over, which is at the top. We're going to start building the bottom base now. Remember we put this one on when it was upside down. We secured everything from the top, the screws. Now we're going to build the bottom up. I guess you could, right? Get some of these slats or two by two by two by fours. Sorry, one by fours. And you can attach them like this all the way across. All right, so just be all the way across now. I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do a little different. I'm actually gonna rip one of these in half, and I'm gonna attach them on the inside, all the way around. Then I'm gonna cut these down to fit in here, so they actually be right about here, across. I also have something to sit on. I'm gonna do that just to give like a little pocket this way too. And from outside, and I got a whole bunch of condiments or something on the inside. If I gotta move it for whatever reason, it's not gonna fall over the place. Attach these, maybe you're gonna to want to use a screw that doesn't go all the way through, right? So okay, I'm gonna use this is the same one with right it's going on one side. If I put these up to each other, when I screw it in, of course I don't want to see the, the screws. I don't want the screws sticking out this way. So if I use a regular screw, you see it's gonna stick out just you can see that just a little bit. I don't want that. So I got smaller ones. This way, it'll stop right there.
이거 봐봐, 이거 봐봐. So I to, to, told you guys, right, you got your 1x6 and your 1x6, but it leaves a 3 inch gap. So you had to put a 1x3. I put it in the middle, it kind of makes it look a little offset. It's not in. I still have to attach it in, cut this one, and then I'm going to attach this side. And it's ready, this is ready for stain. So it took me a second, but what I'm doing is I'm making the, the countertop or the table now for the table. So I went through a bunch of pieces that I had. I want to see which ones were the straightest, which ones were the tightest fits. So when I glue them all together, there won't be any like large gaps in here that I don't have to fill. I am going to clamp it and sand it. So what I'm going to do is I went to the Nards and I bought these clamps. I bought three of them, right? So I can kind of adjust them as I need to and clamp them, right? So I'm going to run some glue through here, each seam, I'm going to clamp it, and then I'm going to let it sit for about 24 hours. Well, I've seen some people actually flip it over, and they put braces here, and they drill it down, right, each second so it doesn't move. I'm just going to put the glue on since I got the clamps. Some people don't have the clamps, some people use dowel pins. I wasn't going to use them on my bottom, but I decided against it. I'm just going to use the glue um, and three clamps. This is a scrap piece that I had. What I'm going to do is once I, once it's all glued and everything, I'm going to take the measurements and I'm actually going to cut it out. You don't have to do it that way. You can line everything up and cut it and make it all fit nice and then glue it. But I'm just going to glue it all together, put it on top of here, trace it all out and cut it. Set them up too. I made little markings on them so I kind of know where they where I want them to go. All right, so you got them in there. Oh, this one's gonna go down a little bit. Right there, lines up. It's good, 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 good. Yeah, we'll have to work. With it. We'll sand that one down a little bit. So there it is. Like I said, once it dries, we're gonna put it on top. Then we're gonna actually drill it or set it in, uh, sand it all. And that'll be our countertop. Sand it really good with a finish, with a finish and then we're probably going to stain it. Most likely, we're not going to paint it. We're going to use cut some kind of a stain. Okay, let that dry. There it is. That'll be our tabletop. So, be back in a couple hours. Check out it. Got the tap complete. Well, I got to uh, mark it out and then cut it off in a second. But right now I'm going to start in the front door. So I clamped it down to get the so it'll sit tighter on the uh, on the top. I want to screw it in. It'll all be good. Yeah, I clamped it down. I let it sit for about a day. So, tap's done. All right, now I'm going to start making the door. Actually, gonna do two options. One, I'm either gonna have it swing open, or two, I'm gonna do like a farm style door and have a slider on one side. So, I'm gonna measure my opening. Be the same way I built the top. So that's roughly three feet. Of course, I'm not gonna do the entire thing, 
right? Bring it down a little bit. I'll probably be right around 33 inches from my door. That'll give it to me right here. There's my 33. Now I'm gonna do half. I believe it's still 22.5. Yeah, 22 and a half. I'm gonna measure them out, clamp them together. But this time, I'm gonna run a two by four. I'm sorry, I'm gonna run a one by four trim around the top, sides, and bottom to give it that door opening look, or that door cabinet look, I should say. All right, let's get started. So I got my three pieces cut. I'm gonna measure it. Remember, I want to be at 22.5. I'm laying at 22, so I'm half inch off. I'm not gonna worry about it. Forgot. You gotta put a rail on the inside on both sides as well. So if you can see it from here, we gotta add one here, one here, and then one right in the middle, and that'll give the separation for it. So same thing with the top. What I did is these aren't attached, but I, after I cut them, I kind of spun them around and turned them around and manipulated them to see which ones had the best fit to get the tightest seam possible. Once they clamp, it's gonna be a little better as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the glue on. I'm gonna use my clamps, two clamps, one on each side. Then I'm gonna stick this off to the side until it's a little bit dry. And then I'm gonna put the, the border trim around it. I can actually do it as it dries. I just don't wanna flex it yet. So I may wait about 30 minutes after the glue dry. I'm gonna kinda of hurry up on this one because uh, I want the glue to get on the bottom pieces. Okay, so Hey, oh, fell off. There it is. There's the door. I'm working on this side now. I got it all ready to go. Okay, each one 33 and a half. Fits in there like so. And that perfect fit. I did have to trim this one side to make it fit a little better. Just real quick, wife came outside. I guess I didn't realize that it was too tall for her, a little shorter than I am. So I went ahead, flipped it upside down, and I cut two and a half inches off each one of the legs just to drop the two and a half inches. So I'm gonna build the front first. I'm gonna put one of these here on the inside, and then one on each side. Alright. So what you gotta do, make sure you measure all of them. 29 inches, I think you're, everything's squared up. I mean, it should all be the same. But you always want to measure just in case. 29 inches. And 29 inches, I'm going to cut three. One by four is 20 inches. We're going to put on the inside. And again, we're going to do the little uh, toe angle when we drill it in. Pre-drill it, then we'll screw it. I'm gonna measure all these 20 inches, three of them, cut them, we'll put them up. On the sides over here, I'm actually gonna glue it first. Glue it, clamp it, I'll probably let it dry, be a little easier, and then I'll screw it in. So I cut my pieces 29 inches and an eighth. Uh, reason being, I cut them just a little longer, and then I kinda just trimmed them down as needed so they fit just super snug in there. So what I'm gonna do now is first, Before I screw it all in, I'm going to glue it and just leave it here so my seams are perfect. So I'm going to glue, glue, same thing over here, glue it over here, glue it over here, glue this side over here, let that stand for approximately half an hour to an hour. I'm going to pre-drill and I'm going to screw them in for extra support. Wow, 
by that is dry in, I'm gonna put the top one on too. So same thing, you got 45 inches, 22 and a half, mark your center. Two and a half. Two and a half. Measure this length. I cut it twenty one and a half, and then kind of shave it down to make it a tight fit. Put it down. Apply the glue. And then once it's ready, I am gonna. I am going to reinforce it with the screws. I just want to get in here for right now. Put it right between your lines. Look at that. That's what I call perfect. So while this is drying, I'll show you the lines. That's the inside one, outside, right? I can nail those all in once the glue dries. Let's work on this. This is the door, remember? This is just, just about ready to go. So, sorry. We're gonna measure what we got. 21 and 7 eighths. So we're gonna put, not this one, but get the gist, right? One all the way across. So we can build the door. Gotta cut those each. What did I say, 21 and 7 eighths? I'm gonna go ahead and screw these down now. Line them all up, screw them down. And they fit perfect down there. I did this one too. I'm gonna move that clamp, nail that down. And then the next one, right, will be long ways, all the way across. So it'll be one big farm looking door. I think I'm gonna put on a rollers instead of hinges. So when you're doing this, don't forget to pre drill and countersink. Make it look good. Came this far already. For the back side. So what I'm gonna do now, I mean, I gotta cut this piece, right? I'm gonna measure them. I'm gonna start building the back. And line them all up, all the way across. I have to just notch up the little side inside. So if it's like here, right? We'll kind of measure where it's gonna be at. Now it's inside, now it's the top. So we'll start, I'll start putting that together. First, I'm gonna measure a couple, just to, Measure a couple and cut them. So if I have from the inside, so I don't have it. I don't. I'm gonna also finish the rest of these and put them in here before I add all these pieces in. So I'm still about should we stand all the way around? It's like 30, 34 and a quarter, right? All the way to the top. In the past, why? Never mind. So, never mind. It's uh, 33 to just under a half. Yeah, I forget. this one doesn't have the, put the slats up to the top. 33 and a half. I'm going to cut those, cut a couple of them, then I'll come back. We'll drill in, cut them, drill them, attach them, then cut the rest of them on.
Got the first one in. I'm gonna start putting the rest of them in. Cut them, start lining them up, put them in. Man, that's just about perfect. I had to add a little piece right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put three more of them this way. Let's say, oh, that's going to work out okay. Put more slats down here. See how it's going to look. And I cut them all in. These aren't tied in yet. I don't want them to fall. So I'm just going to put these in and see how they look. So I put the bottom. I put the bottom all in. So I got all the back in. All right, I'm gonna they're not screwed in yet. I'm gonna screw them in, slide them over, fit them tight against the corners. And I'm gonna have probably a half inch gap right in the middle. It'll be just like, actually exactly like something like this. So you can do one of two things. One, we can cut a piece to fit exactly in here, all the way up behind there, right? We have to use a table saw, cut down a one by three, just so it fits behind there. Or you could do like, almost like you're doing with the, with the drawer. We can actually put a one by three trim piece right here in the middle. And it'll also cover that hole. Plus it'll give it a little bit of like a separation look. I'll probably end up doing that to be honest with you. But right now, I'm going to drill them all in. Alright, let me show you what I did. I cut a 1x4. Yeah. Perfect! Or you can do it the other way. Or you can do both. You can put the piece inside and the piece outside. Either or. Gives it that kind of aesthetic look. So we ordered it, and it came in. Here's my track. It's for the door. Uh, hardware, of course. Instructions. And the wheel that's gonna roll on. So did you get the rolling door? It's gonna roll on like so. This way. I gotta do. Here's my door. As you'll see, I'm gonna have to take this top piece off and then install it on the inside. Right, it won't work really here. It's gotta be on the inside of it. So I'll take this top piece off first. Show you guys the install now. It's an inch and three eighths it's supposed to be. That's what the tolerance level is, but I'm gonna do an inch and a half. Just will give me a little more leeway when I'm trying to take the door on and off, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an inch and a half, plus this rail is an inch. So I'm gonna take my top mark, two and a half inches, two and, two and a half inches, this top isn't down yet, so let me just pick it up. All right, so two and a half, my Q. Mark two and a half over here. You probably wonder why I'm doing two and a half. It's because it's just me. A little nail there. Spacers, pre drill it, drill it in, and then I'll install this rail real quick. So 
So it's not completely done, but you can kind of see how it's going to slide, right? I still got to put the top piece back on. I'm going to notch this out on the inside so it sits back flush. So what I did, I did two and a half inches over on each side. And then from the top to the first bolt, I did an inch and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter from the top, inch and a quarter from the top, two and a half inches over, two and a half inches over on that side. Came out pretty good. Still clears the bottom too. Okay, we got the door on, but I still have to notch out the top part. I'm gonna flip this one over. That's my front. I'm gonna line it all up. I'm gonna use a pencil. Use a pencil underneath. Alright, then I'm gonna clamp a straight edge on. I'm gonna cut the entire side off. Both sides. Sand this top with my sander. Then attach the top. Okay, one inside, one inside. All the good. I use a, a level, clamps, there's my line. So there's the rough cut. You got it cut out, but I'm also going to take a sander to it. Now I'm going to smooth it all out. See how I notched it out. Like I said, I still have to use the 80 grit on some of the sides just to knock down some of the rougher edges. And I got 220 the top. I'm going to attach it and go to town on this thing and make it nice and smooth. So it's done sanding. I need to get some uh, either the countertop fasteners, but I probably will do honestly because I'm going to pre-drill each corner. I'm going to counter seek it and then I'll run screws down from this side. So I'm going to put putty over it, wait till that dries. Sand it one more time uh, with a finer grit sandpaper, and then yeah, it'll be attached. Oh, look the drawer. Drawers are. I gotta put cabinets in there and the wheels, and then hey, she's just about done. So, like I said, I did mine from the top. Now, what I'm gonna do next? Figures I don't have any wood filler, so I have to go grab some. All right, guys. So during the process of making this cart, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below the question you have, and I will answer it ASAP. Thank you guys so so much for watching. If you like today's video and like our other content, please subscribe and like. And if you want your name to be on our YouTube wall, comment your name down below and I will write your name on a sticky note and it'll be up there. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Love you!